This is a premium sim racing pedal set, featuring a real moto brake with an oil pressure sensor and haptic feedback to get the most realistic sim racing experience. And in this video, I will show you how to build it. The build starts by laser cutting all the wooden parts from a sheet of 5mm plywood. I am cutting them using the new Creality Falcon 2 40W laser cutter, provided to me for this build. The 40 watts of power allowed me to cut all the parts in about half an hour, at a speed of 500 mm per minute with a single pass. The laser has the ability to detect fires, airflow and dirt presence on the lens. It allows to switch between 20 and 40 watts for engraving or cutting, and we definitely want the 40 watts settings when cutting the last few parts from this 10 mm MDF which was no problem for this laser. I really suggest getting a machine like this one if you do a lot of uh, woodworking projects. If you want to purchase this particular model, you can find a link in the description below. With all the parts cut, we can start uh, assembling the two pedals and the base. The laser did such a nice job cutting them that there was no need to use glue. All the parts came together perfectly with a bit of persuasion from a mallet. Now it's been almost two months and the pedals are still holding strong. Some glue was still needed for some reinforcing pieces with no locking tabs. Now that the brake and the throttle wooden structures are completed, we can proceed by installing the pivot bearings with some bolts and nuts. On the brake pedal some self-tapping screws can be used, since there is more material for them to screw into. With that done we can prepare the base by installing a couple of SK8 blocks, which will allow us to securely mount the throttle pedal using an 8mm steel rod as the pivot point. While we are sliding the rod in place we can add a spring to allow the pedal to spring back when pressed. With the throttle installed we can repeat the same procedure for the brake pedal. As I mentioned before, to get the best feeling brake action possible, I'll be using a proper moto foot brake. Before installing it we need to cut the master cylinder arm down to the appropriate length before pressing it in place behind the brake pedal and securing it with a couple of bolts. As you can see the master cylinder was not quite in line with the hole present on the pedal, so I just uh, drilled a new one a bit higher to allow for a straighter action. Back on the throttle a 3D printed part can be used to raise uh, the spring arms, stiffening the throttle a bit for a more realistic feeling. At this point the brake caliper can be installed using a couple of M8 bolts, with some 3D printed spacer to keep it raised from the base. The structural part of the build is now completed and feeling very sturdy. We now have to sort out the electronics to gather the position and force data from the pedals and send them to the PC. For that we use a whole effect sensor, make sure it's analog, mounted beside the throttle pedal, using a small magnet to allow it to read the pedal position. Reading the oil pressure in the brake pedal is a bit trickier, we'll in fact need to unscrew the caliper bungee bolt and swap it for this CNC machined bolt with a thread on its end. This custom CNC machined bolt was made with the help of PCBWay, which kindly sponsored this video. PCBWay is my go-to website when it comes to on-demand high-quality manufacturing. They offer a whole lot of services, ranging from PCB making to CNC machined and 3D printed metal and plastic parts. They offer fast turnaround times with low prices. Check them out at the link below. Continuing with the build, the brake hose can be screwed back in place with the custom banjo bolt. And after bleeding the brake, uh, removing an air bubble, the 1000 psi pressure sensor can be threaded on to give an accurate reading on the brake fluid pressure allowing for perfect accuracy when driving. These two sensors can be connected to an Arduino Leonardo, which will read the value they provide and send them to the PC, through this simple script that is running. The MDF base was a bit flexy with the high braking forces it is subjected to, so I've reinforced it with a couple of steel profile, that also allowed when bent to raise the pedals to this more ergonomic position giving also a place to mount uh, a footrest platform for maximum comfort. This foot platform can be covered with fake leather to give an amazing look to the whole project, 
before screwing it in place from the underside. I've also added a wooden bar to the left side that will jam against this uh, steel profile I have under my desk to keep the pedals firmly in place. Before testing them, I want to step this build up a notch by adding ABS and tire slip feedback to the pedals. I'll do that by adding these 25 watts sound exciters to the back side of each pedal and connecting them to this chip amplifier. I will then use the SimHub software to gather the car behavior and make the pedals vibrate accordingly, like for example when there is tire slip, when ABS kicks in or when I simply rev up the engine. This should really bring the realism to another level, so there is nothing left to do but to test them. Starting with haptic feedback uh, turned off, the pedals behave very well, driving feels uh, very natural and the braking forces are realistic, due to the real braking system we used. Measuring oil pressure translates in fact uh, into a super accurate brake feeling. The throttle is equally good with a nice grippy texture and the very solid construction, which allows for zero play in any direction. Switching the haptic feedback on is when the pedal set really comes alive. Straight away the engine vibrations are well reproduced and really give a sense uh, of being inside the car when you feel them changing while revving up the engine. I've activated ABS feedback on the brake pedal and it does a very good job of letting you know when it kicks in again giving a better sense of realism and helping to get faster when braking. The throttle pedal gives feedback when there is a loss of traction, helping again to get a better feeling of the car behavior and lowering lap times. If you are interested in my fully DIY sim racing setup, check out my other videos on it. Also check PCBWay and the Creality Falcon 240 watts at the link below. I will see you in the next one!